The Samsung Galaxy S23 and now the S23 Ultra have a new render design, and they are the official marketing materials that will be utilized by Samsung themselves on their official launch. Another leak has come from Ice Universe about the camera sensor for the S23 Ultra, and he claims that the S23 Ultra will not have any focusing issues. Previously, we learned that the S20 was the first device to include a 108 megapixel sensor, and that the cameras had a focusing problem at the time. The S23 Ultra will now include a 200 megapixel sensor. He also claims that the stability of the S23 Ultra cameras would be much enhanced, including sensor shift stabilization in the S23 Ultra device. He also discusses portrait video modes capable of recording up to 2.8K. Along with these new improvements, Samsung will provide a new night photography capability that will be much superior than the S22 Ultra. Also, we obtained a glimpse of the Galaxy S23 Ultra camera software, which has a 200 megapixel dedicated mode, a 50 megapixel option, and a 12 megapixel feature. The Galaxy S23 is the lightest Galaxy flagship in the range, with a 6.2 inch screen and the official color on the back. It has the same camera system as the Galaxy S22 from last year, but we anticipate a new front camera improvement. The device boasts a larger battery in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip, and the starting price is estimated to be approximately $800. Now that the S23 Plus will resemble the S23, we'll go on to the Galaxy S23 Ultra in all official colors, beginning with the classic Phantom Black, then Cotton Flower aka Beige, Botanic Green, and Misty Lilac, which looks like light pink. On top of these colors, we'll see gray red light blue on Samsung's website. The design is mostly identical to the Galaxy S22 Ultra, however Samsung has made several noticeable critical alterations that will allow you to tell the difference between the S22 Ultra and the S23 Ultra. The first difference is that the S23 Ultra's camera rear lacks the laser light input seen on the S22 Ultra. And the second thing is that Samsung has totally removed the side frame curvature on the S23 Ultra, providing you a better grip and a flatter experience, while also shifting the volume and power keys slightly lower for an overall wonderful experience if you're just using one hand. So without been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.